Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the carbon dioxide Lewis dot structure. So here we go. We have CO2, carbon dioxide, and that's going to give us four valence electrons from the carbon plus two times six valence electrons from each oxygen. So that's going to be a total of 16 valence electrons in this molecule. Okay, so now let's go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is going to be 16. So they give a 0, and that's 8 times 2. So this is going to end up being an AX2 uh, mo molecular shape, AX2. So let's go ahead and draw this molecule. We have C and as the center atom, O, O. So we can go ahead and connect them with single bonds, and then let's go ahead and surround the oxygens with their electrons. Notice there's six, there's eight electrons here and eight here. That's 16. But notice the carbon does not yet have its octet, so we need to fix that. So let's go ahead and move this bond to the center, making a double bond here, and move these two electrons here, making this a double bond. And now notice each atom has eight, so that they each have their full octet, and there's a total of 16 valence electrons used. So this should be the right structure. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges. So the formal charge of the carbon in the center, remember formal charge is the number of valence brought in, so that's 4 minus the number of bonds, 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember double bonds do not count as 1, they count as 1, 2, 2 for each, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds, minus the number of unpaired electrons is going to be 0. That's going to give us a zero formal charge for the carbon. Now let's go ahead and check the formal charges on the oxygen. Valence brought in, six, minus number of bonds, one, two, minus number of, of unpaired electrons, one, two, three, four. And that also gives us zero. And that's going to be the same for both oxygens, as you can tell, because the setups are the same. So these are both formal charge of zero, which is what you're looking for when you are drawing Lewis structures of, of molecules. So, now since we said that, that, that this is an AX2 molecule, that's going to be a linear shape. And we can also check for the hybrid orbitals, uh, carbon being the center, um, center atom in this molecule. There's one group, two groups, two groups attached. So that's going to be SP hybrid orbitals for the carbon and the bond angles of this molecule is going to be 180 degrees and because the both of these two exterior atoms are the same this is actually going to be a non polar molecule because these two atoms here are the same so they're going to pull on the electrons equally due to their electronegativity it's going to distribute the charge evenly across the atom, or the molecule rather. So I think that's it. If you have any uh, questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments, send me a message, and thanks for watching.